So we're gonna be taking a quadrant alginate impression on our typodon, okay? And we're gonna be using regular set alginate. Okay, so the first thing we wanna do is uh, we wanna fluff the powder. So we're just gonna go over one time and we're gonna turn it back around. We're just gonna give it a couple of taps and then we're gonna let the dust settle. So in the meantime, for our quadrant, we only need one scoop of uh, powder to one measurement of water on our measuring cylinder here for our water. And we've got one scoop, two scoop, three scoops. So we're gonna go with the one for our quadrant. And we just need to fill it up to the line. Okay, is that good? Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm gonna put that water off to the side so I don't knock it over. Okay, and we're first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our water and we're gonna put it into our bowl. Okay, put that off to the side. So now we're gonna measure our, our alginate, okay? So here is our alginate powder, all fluffed up. So here is our alginate measuring scoop. And we're just going to scoop it up just like that. So what we wanna alleviate are these air pockets right here. Okay, so we're just going to carefully just tap it a few times and we're gonna level it off just like that. And then we are gonna put it into our cup. Okay, make sure it's not the water cup. And then I'm gonna put the lid back on because I do not want to spill that. All right, so now what we're gonna do is our water is already in there. We need our alginate spatula in our tray. So I'm going to dump the powder to the liquid. Okay, just like that, put that off the side. We first wanna do a little bit of small mixing to incorporate the powder on the liquid. And once it's somewhat incorporated, then we can really start our good mixing. Okay, we can get it going that way. Okay, and we always wanna make sure we clear the spatula on both sides, just like that. And then we're gonna mix some more. Okay, so our consistency for our alginate should be smooth. So now I'm gathering up and then I'm checking it. So I'm gonna check it just like that. And we want a nice smooth consistency. So I think we're ready to load. So I'm gonna gather up all of the material and I'm gonna to go to the inside, which is called the lingual of our quadrant tray. And in one motion, I'm just gonna go down just like that. So then I'm gonna take my, and I'm, what I'm doing is I'm smashing it into the tray. So you should be able to see it, okay? Always in a down motion, okay? I'm gonna clear my spatula for easy cleaning. And we're gonna be doing it, taking our impression on the lower left side. Okay, so I'm going to retract the cheek and I'm gonna go into the mouth of the typodont Okay, and then I'm going to go back to the distal. And then I'm going to seat the tray in one motion. Okay, bring the cheek out, the lip out just a little bit. And then I'm going to hold. It's very important that we seat the tray securely from the distal to the midline anterior area. Okay, so as I'm holding here, I can make sure my patient is comfortable. I'm gonna check the material. Okay, I'm, I'm checking it and it still seems like it's not quite set, but it's getting there. Okay, I also can check it out here in the anterior portion. And I should be able to put my fingernail in there and not have it make an indentation. Okay. So we're getting pretty close. All right, so what I also wanna do too, okay, seems like our alginate is ready to go. I'm gonna loosen the suction. 
I'm gonna take my finger and I'm gonna go right alongside underneath here, okay? And then I'm going to, in one motion, as I'm gonna lift up, and it should come out and that's our impression.